President Moon Jae-in will hold face-to-face -face talks with U.S. President Donald Trump early next week on the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly. Officials say their top priority will be garnering more international support for the Allies' efforts to establish lasting peace as well as the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Park Hee-joon has this report. President Moon Jae-in and U.S. President Donald Trump are set to meet next Monday on the 23rd for their ninth bilateral summit on the sidelines of the U.N. General Assembly in New York. The two sides plan to discuss measures to achieve complete denuclearization and lasting peace on the Korean Peninsula and various ways to strengthen the South Korea-U.S. alliance as well as regional issues. According to a senior Blue House official, North Korea is expected to top their agenda, especially with signs that nuclear negotiations between Pyongyang and Washington will resume soon. But the official also says they will likely have more than North Korea on their plates. For one, there's a trade dispute between Seoul and Tokyo. That prompted the South Korean government's decision to end its military intelligence sharing pact with Japan, fueling concerns over the future of the trilateral alliance. And amid rising concerns of a rift in Seoul-Washington ties, the two sides have to settle some pressing matters like how much South Korea will have to pay next year for stationing U.S. troops in the country. The rest of his itinerary at the U.N. General Assembly will also be centered around his peace initiative when he sits down with other world leaders and U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres. And President Moon will call for the member nation's continued support for the peace process through his keynote speech on the 24th. And with the president of the International Olympic Committee, President Moon will discuss the formation of unified inter-Korean teams for the Tokyo Olympics and their joint entrance at the opening ceremony. He will also bring up the two Koreas co-hosting of the 2032 Summer Games. This was among the agreements made by the leaders of the two Koreas when they met in Pyongyang last year. President Moon is the first South Korean president to attend the UN General Assembly for three years straight. While his main focus will be gathering support from the international community for his peace efforts on the Korean Peninsula, he will also work to increase Korea's contribution to resolving global issues like climate change. Park Hee-jun, News.